Hi there, welcome to Tech Cut Beat. In my previous video, I talked about uh, rooting or root, which is an Android term. Rooting is nothing but simply gaining super user access or administration access to your Android device so that you can customize your Android smartphone whichever way you want. So now I'm gonna talk about jailbreaking. Often you hear jailbreaking or jailbreak in uh, Apple world when it comes to using iPhone or iPad. I used to do jailbreaking uh, back in 2011 and 12. Jailbreaking is similar to Android rooting. Here you actually gain super user access or administration access to your iPhone or iPad. Apple actually manufacture iPhone or iPad in pretty close manner. I mean the security protocols are very strict and you can't install third party applications on your iDevice. And also the app verification process is very much strict on Apple. So you can't just publish any app just like that uh, that you do on Google Play. So every app goes through some verification process before you publish into the Apple App Store. So in this case if you want to use third, third party applications, you can't use it just like that you use it on Android by just clicking on uh, install apps from unknown sources. So in this case jailbreaking helps. As I said, jailbreaking is nothing but getting administration access to your iPhone or iPad so that you can customize your iDevice whichever way you want. Jailbreaking is not that easy as an Android routing. You need to go through multiple steps to jailbreak your iDevice. Unless you are more of a technical guy, I wouldn't recommend you to go through this jailbreaking process. So I did it for a couple of times and sometimes I was stuck in the middle and I used to refer many articles to actually go through the correct process. So once you jailbreak device, you can actually use third party app stores like Cydia where you can get third party applications and then you can use those applications on your iDevice. Also you can actually customize the default look of your iPhone or iPad whether it may be apps or look and feel of your device and also you can control the hardware and sensors itself. So similar to Android routing, jailbreaking has its own limitations. By jailbreaking you are doing security improvement which means your device's security is at your risk from now onwards. I mean it's very easy to hack into a jailbroken iDevice than hacking into a Apple standard protocols protected iDevice. Also, by jailbreaking, you are avoiding the terms and conditions of Apple. So now your device will no longer cover under warranty. So if anything goes wrong to your iDevice, you may not go to Apple store and ask to fix your iDevice. That's all folks. Now I hope you understand what is jailbreaking. It's simply getting super user access to your iDevice, whether it may be iPhone or iPad. I hope you enjoyed watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, love it, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to receive the notifications of our future videos. Talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.